Wack 100 speaks about Jay Prince Jr. getting pressed by a New York goon in an ATL club, and he also speaks to a Houston goon who was all for mob ties, but has since changed his mind. What up, YouTube? This is Getty Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, Wack 100 is having a conversation with another Houston goon that he previously had a disagreement with about the whole Jay Prince thing and his stance on the whole thing. The Houston goon comes back and confirms that Wag 100 is right and now he's saying that Mob Ties is looking real bad. He also has another conversation about Jay Prince Jr. getting pressed by a New York goon in an Atlanta club by a guy named Special Man says Jay Prince tried to handle him the way he would handle somebody as if he was in Houston and Special whipped out on him, man. It gets interesting. I'm gonna let y'all get to it. Shout out the WAG 100. Shout out to 100 ENT. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. That shit don't ride through the whole Houston like that. Everybody, why you think Sauce Walker don't give a fuck? Why you think Trey don't claim that it's Slim Thug? Everybody from somewhere else. Mm, yeah. But yeah. everybody yeah. know about all these boogeyman stories. And it ain't been no situation. Just be thinking because this guy money, there's some type of Frank White, El Pacino. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I was just gonna say someone sent me a message talking about you know he's locked in with the with the people like the government and all like he like he you know what I'm saying like some mafia people? yeah like some mafia like mean? like he got the politicians on payroll type like how he like, know that mafia like he was right now with rap -a -lot chain. You do got police with rap -a -lot. he was watching power hold on you said he got police with rap -a -lot chain what you mean like you'll catch a police in a in a regular uniform with a rap -a -lot chain. Oh, you, oh, hold on who from Texas in here who from Texas he really and he the cartel, huh? Any Texans in here? <laughs> Jess, Trent, what's up? You're from Dallas, right? No, I'm from West Texas. Oh, that West don't count. No, what's that? West Texas. What you mean? What part? No, I'm from Abilene. Yeah, he out the way. What, Abilene, like yeah, like Abilene. Riverside, Moreno Valley? It's like that. Hell no, nah, Abilene, like Muff Baker. What, like you been through here before? What? I've been through the whole Texas a million times. 10 to 20 to 30, 45 to 1960s and all the rest of the motherfucking highways. Oh, you've been, yeah. you been out here. You've been straight through Houston on 1960. <laughs> hey, you was right, bro. You was right. All right, about what? I remember. Look, I'm from Houston. You remember we talked last week, remember? Okay. Remember when I was, you know, I was, you know, I was, I was, look, I'm a man of my word. I was on here trying to take up for Houston. That's my city. And they, hey, they did, did some hoe. They printed in some hoe for that, bro. Dijon TV said it. That's my oh, what happened? Said. No, he was one up, up here battling me. He on some pro Houston. I say, bro, this ain't on Houston. And it just happened to be from Houston. But he was also pro Houston dad. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, I, he must. I guess he must. He must know something. If he out there he in Houston, see what he's saying is letting you know what the temperature That's is. That's a right fact. Now. That's what it is. That's why I know what he know. Also, nah, man, shit. I'm just, I'm just being real. I mean, you know, Houston, my city, and like that's making us look bad. You know, like, I'm Jeep. You know, I'm blood. You know. Oh yeah, I remember you. I remember him. You was on stage. Yeah, that's all I want to say, fam. That's all. He was the one that been on tour with him. Went to man. tour. He was he hung out. He was like, knew him, huh? No, he was. He was. Yeah, he had. Uh, he, he. I remember he was up here like a couple days ago, last week or something. Uh -huh. And he was saying that um, he f with him before and how some some some. Yeah, remember. that he would have been there if he like he 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 could have been there like some shit. He was, but he, yeah, didn't, he wasn't yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't go. Yeah, he yeah. Been, so I, I fit my the you know, like I, I feel that. So check in what the real is at, you know. Oh, let's be some louse. Like they uh, like that's some scams, some louse. You feel me? Like for real, for real, they, they ain't like us. They ain't original. He got the words in the street. You know, I'm standing on that. They, that's my way making Houston look bad. You know, we'll ain't nothing like that. There's some players down here. We'll so you, you know, the here. crazy part is he right because that should give Houston a, a bad stigma when it comes to coming down that way. And what he's saying is that ain't what it is down here. That's, that's isolated with them. That's what he's saying. Hey, like, but do, do do Brody know any of them, know any real from the Fifth Ward though? He like, know again, he know them because I think. I believe he. I know a lot of people down here, fam. No, I'm talking about just from the fifth ward, from where they from. You feel me? You might know. Yeah, some it's some. Look, 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 it's some real. Them. It's some real stiffness out there. I'm not saying nothing like they like just behind. Like if I'm big OG general, you know what I'm saying? Like all might as well go under me. 
I got some that, like, you know, that's not going to say nothing unless I make the call. If I'm there, it don't matter if I'm there or not there. Like, you know, just come on. Like, that, fact. Ain't that is like, a fact. <laughs> no, I'm just, I was just asking, like, if you know any real from Fifth Ward that don't really do that. Because, you know, they be screaming that shit. Yeah, like a lot of niggas are screaming, but they just be screaming, but they ain't it. You feel me? Like a lot of niggas don't do that. And a lot of people don't just, you know, they mob, you know, they ties, you know. Yeah, you know. Is that the guy that came in here and said uh, his guy the one that took his chain or something like that? J Prince Jr. chain? No, it's probably a different one. Yeah. (laughs) A lot of real is behind that, too. You know, like, that's making, you know, like, now I heard, you know, like, you know, mob ties can't go out of Texas now. You know, they go that, you know, I'm like, damn. So it's going to be some, I mean, you know, not saying they gang, but it's going to be, you know, it's gonna be some like some laws involved every time though. Now, in speaking about the moves that Jay Prince is making, they're talking about the power that he has down there in Houston, man. Remember, the dude in the beginning of the audio was talking about how he's seen police officers riding around with rap a lot chains on police officers. And remember, in Jay Prince Sr.'s book that he wrote, he spoke about how he gave a million dollar donation to a church that he was a part of back in the day. So if he can do that for a church, imagine how much money Jay Prince Sr has probably given to the police department down there that's mafia type of stuff that what they do they grease the palms of the politicians and the people who run the city your city council congressmen judges sheriffs philanthropy work anything that he can do to gain some kind of political influence in his city you can't put that past a person that's got a bag like jay prince senior man anybody would do that if you're smart anyway y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section let's get back to it oh, well, yeah, you, said, you, you said you said jack was shaking down Johnny is crazy. Yo. Oh, no, nah, you shake the shot of Johnny. Yo, how the f- I ain't know this, yo. Yo, you hey. shaking down Johnny. You got to be somebody. Cause Johnny got you got to remember, Johnny. Jack was living in Beverly Hills. Yeah, he was he was living in Bel Air at one point. Yeah, that nigga wasn't playing no more. Okay, man. Yo, you. bro, he was charging twelve thousand a day to come personal chef him off. Yeah, I know. Tupac ate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to blame. He blamed did the dry snitch and put his name in the song and all the crazy. Biggie warned him, no, this was what it was. See, back then, Jack and Jimmy Hinchman was a team. They was all they was together. You know, Talk, no, yeah. yeah. Go down, just say this, this baby mama and all. Then the thing happened down in Miami, and then this happened, and then you put the buck 50 on him. Boom. And then, then he called, he had to call Jack and tell Jack he was at the studio, at Encore Studio, knowing Jack was going to take the bait. And when Jack en route, police pulled him over. He knew Jack was going to have a gun. That's what got Jack deported. I heard that story. I didn't know if it was Damn, real. Damn, that's so real. Yeah, they put a line on it. I mean, Jimmy, like, see, the, that's the thing that scared me. The gangster rap, the niggas that's out here putting in yeah. pain and telling, you can't beat them. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> You're right, though. Like, you Yo, everything. A uh, whole lot going on, bro. Nah, bro, you said he was shaking Johnny D. That, that got it right there, yo. That is the one, yo. I might laugh all day behind that. Jack, good dude. So Jack setting up. He actually setting up distribution i gave him distribution for all the islands over there for the diapers oh, i got i got it i got the only black owned diaper company in so the he didn't crossed over into that other yeah line. i'm gonna get i'm going somewhere else and you know you, you know you man, know man. that the jay prince jr tried special in atlanta right you said what jay prince jr he tried special in atlanta he tried <laughs> no 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 what? no look bro this real story right like about 18 months ago right special them at the club in the front jay prince come through he got his team with him it's just special in his girl that he could call himself walking through special in this girl. Cause you already know how special they and how he is. Man, special grabbed that nigga Mike and slung that nigga back and pulled out on that nigga. They got to hollering, yo, this J Prince son. He said, I don't give a fuck about J Prince. I don't Prince, give a fuck. Prince, no other Prince. I'll make one big mess out of you. You gonna respect me. They could call his daddy on the phone and all. He said, I don't wanna talk. I don't know what we doing right now. He start coming out to the J Prince. Hold on, my you going, this is special. You don't want to play this game with this kid because he be moving like he that and ran into the wrong motherfucker. But, but, but whack, you want me to tell you some real shit? How, when, I look, when I looked at that whole shit happen, that I want these youngers to understand, you can uh, you can spend 30, 40 years of your life being a stand-up and accumulating respect and losing in one instant. It could all be gone. Like You got to always be what you say you are. And a lot of this in Houston used to always tell me about Junior. They used to always say, they don't respect him because he start wars over this and gangsters don't respect That's him. what he do, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he'll beat him. This is yeah, the third time. Not, not that that recently happened. But it's three different instances that I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, ran yeah. down on them over. Oh. 
See, you got to remember, dude was born rich. Yeah, he's he a silver no struggle. They don't respect it. Yeah, he ain't had no struggle. He just taking on a persona. He didn't have no, he didn't grow up in the ghetto, in the hood, and none of that. His daddy was already, like my son running around here acting like he from that. You ain't had a sidewalk in front of your house. Calm down. Yeah, that's, that, and that's and that's real. And it's like. You could tell by the, that they be saying he ain't two game type. Hey, listen, man. I be listening I to the he be saying no on these interviews lately. I don't mean no because of bozo. But I would hate to have to choose between my livelihood and my son because I think I might choose my livelihood. Especially if your son ain't listening to you doing some bullshit. Yo, 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 you going to listen, listen. You going to have to make a choice, right? Either him or you, your son, and everybody else on the team. You, he's going to have to make that choice. No, that's he's going to have to make that choice. And he, and he to me, it looked like his son ruined his ruined his whole in his home. His up, bro. legacy, everybody, yo, bro, do y'all know what the is fitting to go on, man? This is about to start uh, not only a war, bro. Yo, bro, nasty than what people think it is, man. It's it's about two hundred because I know from Atlanta that get busy that's in Houston right now. No, this <laughs> is upset. And see now, no, 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 not, not the not whole persona, the whole persona. Right, and the illusion around the mob ties. When you say it, niggas be like, man, we want to hear that. But, 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 they, they don't make sure y'all hit that right? greenhouse. All that is that they've been stifling their growth out there in Texas are aligning with the Atlanta because they looking at this like this is their chance. They yeah, just right about the that. tragedy to, to come It looks like they hating, really. Right about that. I mean, I told you, I said, look, bro, either all of them gonna show up to the funeral or none of them gonna show up. I said, because I said, now nah, they said, I said, look, if I know I ain't had nothing to do with it, ain't none of it tied to me. I'm showing up. Y'all got to just me up, bro. I'm telling you, I'm coming to pay my respect. Whoa, 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 where, where am? But if I know it's an inkling that we, uh, that, 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 that ain't no sense in showing up. And then I just do some jerk by it. putting the name, they family name in front yeah, of where I take see. off was her dad. I that's see crazy. that's I some suckers. I didn't understand that's that. that, 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 that that's my that's my somebody else day. helped me. Did I see that wrong? I, where he got that that they put the prince? What they put? Um, Prince family, uh, yeah, that was some bullshit with the roses. I'm like, nigga, where to take off? You gonna put your name right there? That's that's a major sign of disrespect. Yeah, I didn't that's get that. I didn't, I didn't get that either. But but, but but judging but by all the actions, Al right? Used to send it to their victims back in the day like that. They used to send them a bouquet of flowers to their victims. And boom, with their name on the front. That's old school mobs. No, they put the Prince family name. Yeah, but you got to remember something. Shows oh, yeah, but I tell you war. what. All right, we're going to leave it right here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. The stories just keep rolling on out about J. Prince Jr., man. A lot of people are saying that he likes to start wars over females. And a lot of people are saying that he had an issue with Joe Button a while back that it was about a female. A lot of people are saying as well that when he had certain issues with certain people, it was about females, right? So I don't know what the issue is there j prince jr is not really somebody that falls on my radar as far as reporting on him he's only on my radar simply because he was involved or indirectly involved or allegedly involved with takeoff's death right so i never heard a lot of stories about him before this but they're coming out saying that he's actually been pressed before in person live and direct and he did nothing about it there was no war started there was no nonsense that went down when he pressed that guy special or when that guy special pressed him j prince jr did not retaliate everything was laid to rest it was all over with after the fact that the man stood on his square and said look you can't handle me like this i can respect the man that'll stand on his own constitution but what do y'all think about people saying that the prince family is dropping the ball when it comes down to how they're handling takeoff's death right did you see the mural or the flower display that they put up in front of the place where he died in front of the bowling alley it said the prince family it didn't even say his name that's some crazy stuff right there i don't know where they even get the idea to say hey this person died and we're sorry about his death but we're gonna put up a flower bouquet and we're gonna write our name in the flower bouquet not his we're not gonna say long live takeoff we're not gonna say rest in peace takeoff we're not gonna say my bad we're not gonna say hey our condolences to takeoff's family we're not gonna say any of that what we're gonna say is the prince family man that's a bold move and lately jay prince has been putting up some kind of cryptic tweets about how he's not in fear of anything i've even heard that he said something about let it slide i don't 
don't know what that means i don't know what the people were talking about but i guess he's trying to stand on whatever he's standing on maybe he's saying look i'm not going to choose between me and my son it's going to be me my son and my family against the world however it's going to go it's going to go hey i can respect that you got to respect the man that's going to stand on this constitution right but what do y'all think about people saying that jay prince jr is ruining the legacy of his family or jay prince jr is causing a lot of unnecessary turmoil in the streets and bringing unnecessary attention to his family and to his father's name because of the deaths and things that's happening around him man and they're saying he's not even a street dude he doesn't come from that that's not his background but hey the allure of the streets is powerful and it's very magnetizing and anybody can be pulled into that anyway that's been my show this has been gated radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace